good morning guys <sighs> welcome back to my channel <laughs> if you're new welcome welcome and if you're returning he's a loyal man oh my gosh imagine this is how i decided to return to youtube after how many months now seven months eight months jeez but anyway um yeah i think we'll get into where i have been why i've been off of youtube for so long it's not just youtube that i was off of i've been off social media basically as a whole um youtube and instagram just that on instagram i was still on there I didn't like completely disappear but I like I went through a phase where I just stopped posting on Instagram um, and yeah it's I'm gonna get into it but I am first going to look a bit more decent I'm gonna take a shower and do my finish doing my hair and then once I've done my hair I'm gonna do my makeup so once I've showered I'm also gonna wash the dishes and tidy up a bit. Um, and then that's how you guys, what has been going on. And we have been at, I have a lunch today with my friends. So I'm gonna start getting ready for that. I don't know at the time, it's probably like nine, almost nine. It's two nine right now. And I said I must, I must be ready and I must be on time right and you guys know me i'm always late an hour two hours late so i'm gonna try and be on time and it starts at one pray for me you know prayers are welcome please uh but yeah i'll show you guys me doing my hair and stuff and i'm gonna talk to you guys um i'm gonna give you guys a live update and i'm also gonna go through the questions that you guys sent me on instagram um, I don't want this video to be super super long. And then when you guys see me, I will be looking probably not cute, but a bit more decent. I don't understand what this is and why it's doing that because please, I have to put on makeup today. What is this, honey? I need to tweeze my eyebrows. This is a lot going on, but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. So today is Sunday. I don't know if I said this today is Sunday, but and I have a lunch with my friends. Some of my friends, not all of my friends. Um, basically, my high school friends and my varsity friends. Um, we're having lunch. Uh, Ria planned a lunch. 
I'm just putting on my moisturizer. Yep, that's the moisturizer. Hello, here's the moisturizer I use. Mm, yeah, Ria planned a lunch for me. Well, it was actually my idea to do a lunch. I wish I had something. I could stack the camera up on. I just feel like it's really low right now and you know I'm looking down at it because the table I'm working on is quite low but I'm about to finish doing my hair I just got out of the shower I moisturized my body it takes me five hours to moisturize or lotion my body but I just did that and I had my tea and some sponge cake I had made that I brought for Bay. Um, yeah, so now I don't know where I put my, my handbag. Wherever it is, I would like to moisturize my lips. Right, so you know, I go with my handy dandy. Can you guys see? My eight hour cream that I still use for my lips that hasn't changed. So I'm first gonna do the QA. If you hear the cause, I'm so sorry, but I don't want to close the slide. Room. I hope you can't hear them honestly speaking. Which side of the water do I use this side? I am about to finish my hair first. Put you guys in the center. Finish my hair and then I am going to um I'm not know, super zoomed in. I'm gonna finish up first with my hair and then we're going to go and do the um, we're going to start with my face afterwards. For now, I just put moisturizer on. Afterwards, I'm going to put sunscreen and then and then we, we, we go. So yesterday, I did... Um, I put in the extensions, the hair extensions last night. Didn't vlog that because I did it very late at night. <laughs> very, very late. Uh, I laid my hair, which my hair I washed yesterday while I was still at home. I washed my hair and I blow dried it so it was nice and blow dried but it was very fluffy and then um, last night I then um, so like you can see my own lapondo in there that's my hair so I just wrapped this weave around and now I'm gonna straighten it up there's a lot going on right now it's literally a lot uh, going on mm. so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna straighten out first this bundle put it in a cute bun i want it in a bun and then i am going to i hope i have i don't have what I'm looking for it's quite annoying um because I usually have oh I do oh thank god I was about to say that's so unlike me to not have things I'm looking for and I need my serum as well okay cool so I got everything So, uh, basically what I was looking for is this, because I have like miniature products in my hair bag. This is my hair bag. It's from Colette. I actually love Colette, eh? 
come to think of it okay anyway yeah so i couldn't find this i was like because at home i use the big one so i'm like there's no way i ran out of the small one and didn't replace it for my for my hair bag <sighs> but by the grace of god we found it so i'm quickly gonna do the bundles and i'm quickly going to straighten them out not perfect at all because i'm putting this hair in a bun in any case so while we do that i'm gonna answer you guys' questions and then after answering y'all's questions i'm going to give you guys then an all-rounded life update from my side and babe, you guys asked me quite a few questions um i don't know which one is the first one which one is the last one hey somebody asked to take me out for lunch it looks like a guy Oops. i'm so happy you're back where do you see yourself career-wise in five years girl oh my word you went in in <laughs> five years how old am i now uh, five years you know what okay like five years from now i don't see myself working for nobody and my boyfriend and i agreed on that because i told him like i don't see myself working in corporate for the rest of my life so um he understands and it's something i've always spoken about so he said because it's something i've always been speaking about that he knows about it's not new to him but he asked me to give him a certain number of years i'm not gonna say how many years but he asked me to give him a certain number of years it's definitely not five years um before i retire so with that being said five years from now career wise I won't be working in corporate so i will definitely be a home executive and i say home executive because i'm not talking about being a housewife because there's a difference uh, it, according to me um, in my life in my world there's a difference between being a home executive and being a housewife the difference is that well, i'm not going to go into the differences but basically as a home executive i will be housewife housewife in terms of like you know duties and stuff uh drop off the kids like i'll let me say i'll be a housewife because i won't be working for anybody i won't be going to work i won't be waking up in the morning to go to work so in that regard um you know i'll be a housewife but the reason why I said I don't want to be a housewife, I want to be a home executive is because I want to still make money. I don't want to just be sitting at home relying on my husband to bring the bacon, you know. I also want to actively work on bringing home the bacon. I just want to have a very flexible work schedule where i can take care of my kids take care of my husband's need make sure like when he comes home he comes home to a clean house every day his washing is done uh, i've i've made supper you know what i'm saying that can that's what i'm talking about um, so that's like the housewife perspective of it but when i say home executive i will be working for myself um, so I'll have a business or two going on. I want to run my businesses and I'll also run his businesses as well. So yeah, I will be working. It's just that I won't be working in some big company for somebody. I'll be working for myself. And yeah, you know, it's still work, but the majority of it is that i'll be a housewife guys i really it's always been my thing to be a housewife it didn't start now it's always been my thing and a lot of people used to sound crazy but now because Ziakala, they see where i'm coming from and they're like i actually get why you want to be a housewife 
I've always just wanted to, even before like things, you know, got as hectic as they were like, you are gorgeous, gorgeous girls don't really deserve to wake up in the morning and slave. Which is not really slaving guys honestly like the freedom that comes with being your own woman and having and making your own money that thing is immeasurable like it comes second to nothing i'm, I'm not even playing so that's why i'm saying i still want to make my own money nonetheless uh, so that's where i see myself career wise in five years uh, i'm gonna go through these quite fast No questions, just miss your beautiful face on the red app. Oh, thank you, girl. And then Q sent me a whole bunch of emojis. Um, you know, the confusing part is so I know some of my a good amount of my subscribers that are these calls are noisy that, that engage with me on YouTube um, and also engage with me on Instagram but that use the same name then there's some of you guys who on on youtube have a different name so when you engage on youtube and then on instagram you have a different name so it's hard for me to know that you're the the same person you know um hey sis where on earth have you been you know what i'm gonna get into that one in the live update like where i've been so excited my question is what are you expecting in 2022 one word that i'm expecting in 2022 is restoration i'm not going to go into detail about it but all i know is that in 2022 it's now february it's today's the 27th as i'm recording this and all i'm all i know is that god is going to restore for me in 2022 and for the rest of my life he's going to restore because i've lost so much and i have gone through so much so 2022 is the year of restoration for me that is what i'm expecting and it's already started as well like god has already started restoring um like my january was an amazing month january was an amazing month for me because i really did see that god is restoring for me and that was just the beginning um i can't really talk that much about it right now but you guys know i am an open book so i will talk about these things as they come i'm gonna talk about one of them just now but uh why did you leave us for so long don't you miss us i miss you guys dearly but i had to be gone i just couldn't and i'm also gonna get into that just like where have you been as well do you have a pagate now i do i have a love of my life you know i have a doida look i'm happy um oh my gosh guys when are we getting a vlog because we miss you this is this is it this is it um so then <laughs> she came for me she dragged me and she said this is the second q a and i hope this time you'll fall we miss you i know you're dragging me she's dragging me for fourth but oh gosh um because i did do a q a a long time ago and i said i'm coming back on the red app and then i just didn't hey because my life went when i thought okay now i'm good i'm ready to go back on youtube then my life just went south like yay um the question she asked though is how are you genuinely you know what i'm actually really really good like i am i'm in a really really good space right now at the current moment i'm i'm really really good i am happy um I, i'm at peace i have a lot of peace in my life right now yo i don't want to lie i'm guys i'm i'm actually very happy genuinely happy i'm good life is good i can't complain life is not perfect it's not where i'm not where i want it to be um but i am really good and then i got another question how are you really you guys are really concerned about me and i love it i love i love that you know like that how are you genuinely and how are you really it's like not how are you a generic like how are you i'm good in you you know they're like you guys want to know how i'm actually doing guys right now i'm okay i wasn't but now i'm really at a good place and that's why i went off social media also because 
some things you can't do or like deal with while you on the internet and personally i just don't like dealing with my stuff i don't like talking about things while i'm still going through them so i like to fully go through something and then come back and talk about it what made you take a break i'm gonna get into that just now um then this is my boyfriend and he went and commented they come back married or with a baby and then he said should we be expecting a big surprise usually when people stay away for this long <laughs> he tried me uh plans for 2022 goodness gracious you guys will know my plans for 2022 just now but let me just quickly finish this bun and then come back okay okay i'm back i have my bun over there and then we're gonna do this piece of hair so i'm just doing two side bangs i'm gonna lay my edges a little bit first because me and edges we can't without each other so the question is what are your plans for 2022 child my plans for 2022 that's actually just such a difficult question for me to answer um because it's a hey, you know with how my life has been um i don't even like like to plan anymore i don't want to plan things because the last two years have just shown me like 2020 and 2021 have shown me that you plan literally god loves because at the end of the day the only plan that matters is god's plan for your life so my only plan for 2022 is that whatever plans that i have or for myself or that i come with um or whatever wishes i have for my life i just pray that they align with god's plan for myself that's really it you know that my plans align with god's plan that's my biggest plan for 2022 can they be alignment um how are you miss you so much i'm good girl i really missed you guys too not a question oh my gosh guys how have you been are you okay 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 i was not i'm okay now though uh man this made my day how are you like really really obian it's the concern for me it's the level of concern for me you guys are actually making me so happy um i don't really go through these questions in detail like that okay this question i can't answer as yet because i'm gonna get into yo okay i'll get i'll come back to these questions once i've told you guys what's going on someone said well, even if you just sit there and say nothing we miss you for <laughs> if you please if you don't mind me if you don't mind please share how you're doing after the accident i am doing really really good um you know what the accident my oh so i was in a car accident like look okay look look, look 2021 was a lot it was in a car accident um luckily i wasn't badly injured hello i'm on my way back what do you say on this bus uh from mcdonald's yeah two egg mcmuffins and an orange a small orange juice a regular orange juice all right then. okay bye babe so yeah my accident i was not badly injured uh but it was quite a traumatic experience because i've never been in a car accident the last time i was in a car accident i was a baby literal baby like a baby baby and my mom was sitting because you know back then there were no car seats my mom was sitting with me uh, and i think she was sitting in the front seat with me as a baby don't know where she was going with my dad and um they got into a car crash 
and I I rolled like I fell and I rolled I don't know like they found me somewhere under the seat though because that's why I'm assuming she's sitting in the front seat I can't really lay these edges because I brushed them back last night and I called it a day and now they're like they've molded in that so I can't really do anything there um, but we can just try and have there we have a swoop Nyana. so yeah that was the last time I was in a car accident since so in the 20 whatever years of my life I have not been in a car accident okay and I was freaked out I was by myself um, luckily I think you know if you're in a car accident it's just better when you're, you're by yourself uh, I was luckily by myself and I say luckily because like you know sometimes I'm with my niece in the car um, most of the time I'm by, I'm by myself but like I do travel with my niece a lot and I think that's what scared me that yo like imagine if I was with my niece and we got into this car accident so I was grateful to God that I was by myself and no but I didn't get injured that badly I just had body pains yo my body was aching but that was really it I didn't bleed or anything but I was in a lot of shock the first thing I did was call my boyfriend because <laughs> I had just seen him so I got into a car accident like 10 minutes after leaving him after we separated I got in a car accident so the first thing I did oh I was so scared you guys i never knew that i would be that scared in a in a car accident Ooh, look at that so imagine if i do it like a twist out with my hair um with my hair thingy blow dried because this twist was done on my hair when it was blow dried so yeah i call my boyfriend and he yo he was in a a frenzy himself he came right away and then um i called my dad because i don't want to call my mom did i call my mom i called my mom she was driving so i was like it's fine let me call dad but she didn't ask me why but i was just like because she was she was driving and i know my mom is very panicky so i hung up and i called my dad and i told my dad that i've been in a car accident I think I'm gonna I wanted to use this heat protectant but I'm gonna use this in inter in thingy with this one I was gonna use serum as well but now when I read this it says hair protection and it says hair serum so I guess it's a two in one I'm gonna put this one on my hands because I don't want it to So I called my dad, my dad called my brother, then my brother came to fetch me because my car was not in a drivable um, state, so somebody had to come take me home. Um, yeah, well my brother came to take me home, but yeah, you know, I'm fine, I'm fine now obviously, but this was last year September. This hap the, ex the accident happened in September. Um, I was already not on social media much in any case. I only spoke about it, I think, in November or December. And I was speaking about it because this, I, I posted something about being grateful. And I just said in passing, like, after my accident, um, I'm grateful for life. You know, like, those kind of things really, like, shake you, you know, because obviously I've seen a car accident take someone's life away so someone really close to me so hey i don't take car accidents lightly at all so i was grateful obviously that you i'm okay but yeah i am still i'm okay now as well um just come back that's all i'm saying another relationship question mark moving home moving home anytime soon why did you go away from youtube um yes i am currently in my in a, in a new relationship and it is my first relationship since and yeah 
you know i decided that i got to a point where i healed i prayed about it a lot and i was like god i think right now i think it took a year though after a year i was like you know god i think right now i'm ready for a relationship so but and then i prayed about the kind of person that i wanted to be in a relationship with and i was very specific about what i want in this man very specific okay i was very very specific and i spoke to god about what i want um but geez i'm in a new relationship now and i'm happy it took a while but we're here um moving home i, I stay home babes I moved away from the streets long time ago. I moved back home in 20, end of 2017. So I've been home since 2018. And I vowed to myself, guys, because I've been away from home since first year. I've been staying in, I was staying in Joburg. Till 2017. And I was two years into work then, going into three years. So you can imagine how long I've been home, I've been away from home for. So what's the time i need to start doing my makeup soon at 11 i need to start um so in 20 <sighs> this is basically the hairstyle we're going for so in 2018 when i moved home i made a vow to myself and i was like you know what i have lived the life of being away from home i have learned the that independence that comes with that i have gone through that stage in my life um and then i was like so with that being said um because you know i had acquired things you know couches beds furniture pots and dun dun you know things like that so it was a matter of i needed to sit myself down and make a realistic expectation for myself as well as to like what i expect when i'm moving home am i moving home temporarily or what so i decided i'm like you know what actually god i'm happy at home like i am i'm genuinely happy at home so because i'm happy at home i'm not gonna move out of home uh until i get married so i'm not married yet and i haven't moved out of home yet so i'm still keeping so that promise i made to myself that i'm not gonna move away from home until i'm married <laughs> what is next um anyway what has life taught you so far Ooh, life i think i'll do a separate video on that like things i've learned um in the 20 whatever number of years i am my hair's so long guys then how has 2022 been and what did you change in your life in terms of friends and love life that's a very good question 2022 so far has taught me what that god oh, 2022 so far has really taught me that god restores um so like i said 2020 and 2021 really showed me that life is <laughs> life is not easy guys we'll pay looking so but anyway um we move so um yeah 2022 has taught me we move we pray god restores that's it that's just how life is one thing i know is that god restores and you you're gonna be okay whatever you're going through you're gonna be fine it may not seem like that at the time and you know when people are telling you that it's going to be okay it seems like people are being so insensitive and people don't understand what you're going through da -di -da -di -da, and they've never even gone through what you're going through so how do they even know but life guys life here goes on huh? i can tell you that life here goes on huh? and god restores you know and when god let me read you this thing this is like something that this other friend of mine posts she likes to post it and i took a screenshot of it because i could relate to it so much and it basically explains and now i don't know where i'm gonna find it because i have so many screenshots in my phone oh gosh i can't find it i will put it on the screen i'll just do that i'll find it and put it across the screen 
anyway uh what else have you guys asked me are you currently seeing anyone yes i am finally oh somebody asked me oh the other question said what has um what did you change in terms of friends i haven't changed anything in terms of friends um the only thing i have learned though is that closure is a scam it's one thing i've learned in life so far is that closure is a scam life doesn't owe you closure guys this thing of you guys thinking um especially women we believe in closure i don't know why but we believe in closure we believe that we need closure and we'll be better after we get closure closure is a scam closure is not a real thing um you just want closure because you think you need it trust me you don't need it are we doing closure you move on with life like i said you pray you move god restores let god and let go that's really all it is um that's really what i can say i've learned in life um so far I haven't really changed anything i still have the same set of friends i have a really really good friendship system or however we can call it i have a really really good set of friends hey like my friends have been there through it with me my friends have really been really really through it with me they've been down for me i can't complain like when it comes to my friends god really did a number like the support i get from my friends is ridiculous like my friends are really really there for me anyway i think that is it in terms of question guys now i'm gonna get into where i have been, my actual life update which i'm gonna try and call a keeper how have you been guys okay uh the update i'm just gonna give you guys a little bit of a timeline so okay this is how my hair looks y'all let me give you guys a better um view but this is how it looks i got two bangs going feel my hair is long i don't think my hair would be this long child she is long oh my gosh but that's my do for today really 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 cute and i'm gonna get into my makeup it's almost 11. boyfriend is on the way and he's got a shower and he's gonna be sitting here to be ready on time so let me give you guys an update uh, uh, a little what's this thing oh here are my lashes i was looking for my lashes after i went and bought new lashes anyway guys yo lena okay let's go back to 2021 april right so i was trying to continue doing youtube at the time um i did the video with ria the suppose bull and i was vlogging as well and you know i was just really really pushing like i was really trying and then i guys i can't even explain what happened to me in words but i went through this thing where i just could not stand uh, social media especially instagram i went through this thing where instagram became a very 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 toxic place for me and i just couldn't for the life of me i could not stand that application and i just felt like everybody on there is rude not everybody but like a lot of people on there are rude i felt like people on there are there's just so much societal pressures it's like i started seeing i knew what instagram is and how it is ne? don't get me wrong but i went through just something life-changing like i was just like but the, this this app like it's like i couldn't believe that this is actually what it is i don't it wasn't just one thing that made me feel that way it was literally a number of things that put me off and i was just like you know what so i thought i started distancing myself from instagram um around april 
I started distancing from myself from from Instagram. I just started being, you know, like I was just like, because usually like every year I go on an, a social media break. So I also did those last year where I went on my social media breaks. But even still, like when I came back, there was just something very demonic about Instagram for me that I didn't understand, and I didn't like it. So I started like posting less. I would still go on the app Nagueo. But I started posting less on my stories. I know I don't post on my feed much anyway. So on my stories, I started just posting much less. I started posting less. Um, like I could go over a month without posting anything. Ne? Sharp. So that was me, April, May. But then I had those two videos. So I had a vlog and I had the video I did with Rhea. So eventually I edited those and I posted those videos. So in essence, I think now according to YouTube Studio, I haven't been on on I haven't uploaded on YouTube in there we go, seven months. So the last video I posted was seven months ago. But I have actually not been on YouTube for my nine months. It's been that I haven't taken any content and things like that. The videos I did put out i put them out a month or two later so um because i was just generally going through this thing then we went to durban in june beginning of june on the third of june my friends and i had been planning um this trip to durban so we went at the beginning of june to durban my camera's gonna cut so <sighs> okay guys i'm back i went to put on some sunscreen so that's why my hair's out of my face Put on some sunscreen and I'm about to start with my makeup. I think I'm gonna put my bonnet on for safety. Just to be safe because I worked hard on this hair. And I don't want anything going wrong. So I'm gonna put my bonnet on just to have my hair away anyway um right so in june we had a trip planned to go to durban and we went to durban guys the fun we had is amazing i had every intention of vlogging i vlogged as first of all yeah, I vlogged us when we got there, like the Airbnb. I vlogged um, how the house looked. It was absolutely beautiful. I almost threw my palette. You see this thing of talking and not being focused. So, um, yeah, Ugh, guys, I don't want to lie. I'm from Ungasho. I had a lot of fun. So, we went to Durban. So, before we went to Durban, I was seeing, oh, I was dating these guy this guy can i give a of these guys well i mean i had my options open child i believe in dating so if you're not exclusive with somebody not in a relationship with somebody and remember like i said um previously i got to a point where i felt like i'm ready for a new relationship you know i'm ready to actually get into a relationship and i prayed about it and i told god the kind of man that i want so I uh, then I put myself out there uh, and I started seeing a couple of guys or dating or going on dates with a couple of guys and I'm trying this product out for the first time and I just hope it doesn't irritate me and it does what I needed to do because I can't make any mistakes hi Shabu uh, there's just one guy that I can really, really like, that I really want to talk about. And this guy is the guy I was going on dates with before I went to Durban. So I have a type, guys. I really like Zulu guys. I really like Zulu men. Um, Zulu men are it for me. I'm sorry I'm facing that way because this is where my mirror is. <sighs> Zulu men are it for me. So he was a Zulu guy from kzn um works the side da 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 you know sharpo but like previously i had spoken to ria you know 
and you know Rhea and I actually like we gave each other really good advice I, I must say so I told Rhea my situation that you know like I know I prayed about this and I told God exactly the kind of guy that I want but how am I gonna know that it's the one and Rhea said you know what so she told me how she watched the sermon and in that sermon the pastor said um, that basically what is this thing actually supposed to do because I don't know if me and it are on the same wavelength but basically Rhea was telling me that this pastor was like when when something is from God you won't sorry you won't have any doubts so for as long as you doubt something it's not from God but when something is directly from God it's God ordained you won't doubt it you will know this one is from God and I have a come I speak to God um, often and you know I know how the Holy Spirit communicates with me I like on a very personal note I know exactly how it is that we communicate so when Rhea said this I was like you're right you know very hard to practice to put in practice I'm not gonna lie to you but it, it's the truth so I was like you're right friend so anyway um, I went I don't even remember which one I used for my brows because when last did I do brows babes yay this one no I'm gonna try this one um so i went on a date with this guy where did we meet we met we met at woolies you know woolies after hours the waking class a very nice guy very decent guy so we exchanged numbers because i don't have time to be there uh you know talking for ever so i gave him my number and uh i left and i went home and oh i asked him who he's buying flowers for and he said i'm gonna be honest with you so he's like i'm buying these flowers for new concealer was good look at how clean that sponge is uh so he told me that he's buying these flowers for a girl because he's going on a date i'm like oh that's nice of you to buy flowers you know he's like yeah it's our second date so i'm trying to make an impression i'm like good that's really good uh i really really like that so um yeah he okay we exchanged numbers and he left um he didn't say he's in a relationship with this girl he said they're going on a date that's why i gave him my number fine i go home and then like he called me and we started speaking over the phone you know he had a really good vibe um very very but no he wasn't my type because he's he's a very shy guy um i don't like shy guys because i'm shy so i need a guy who will pop punching because mm -mm, i'm very shy i'm very shy so yeah but we spoke and then like we went on a date and then he told me that he didn't buy me flowers because when we met he was buying flowers he didn't want me to think like uh he's so predictable he buys flowers for every girl i'm like i'm glad you don't buy me flowers uh, and then um yeah you know whatever we went on dates but the thing is this guy had two kids with two different women that was a lot for me okay um for me having a child one child is a deal break so two with two different women i'm like ah uh -uh. that was a lot for me so i became very like doubtful of him you know after that and i remember telling Rhea, and Rhea was like hey mm -mm. hey two kids two baby mamas child he's not with either one of the baby mamas he's actually trying to get someone new i'm just like you know not to judge him or anything but it was guys i'm so young that's that's a lot for me so ah you know uh then i went to durban so i saw him like a day or two before i went to durban he, sharp then i left and i went to durban 
did i not meet the love of my life in durban guys so what happened was basically i told my sister then about this guy my sister was like two kids she's like no it's a big no and i was like yeah you know i know but i keep asking these people to make sure i'm like am i overreacting am i being shallow you know because i know that even one child i won't accept so i'm like but two i'm like i know i'm not like i know <laughs> i know it's not gonna work so like i wanted to hear somebody else say it and i wanted to know i'm not being dramatic you know so my sister was like no ways my sister's like go to durban you'll find your man in durban i was like no i'm really not gonna go to durban looking for a man and the thing i wasn't looking i was like when you're looking you don't find when you're not looking that's when your man will come to you so i was like he'll come to me naturally so i went to durban not looking for a man guys i don't want to lie like I was not interested. I just wanted to go to Durban and have fun because I was tired. Work was so hectic. Last year, work was extreme. Like, hey, it was extreme. So, work was so, so hectic. I just needed to get away and do me and focus on me and just have a lot of fun. But anyway, long story short, I had a lot of fun in Durban. I met the love of my life in Durban. We came back to Joburg together. I can't even go into that story, but like he was coming back to Joburg and I was coming back and we ended up coming back together a day later. So my friends left me in Durban and I stayed with him and we came back a day. Yeah, yeah, we came back a day later. Um, so I spent that whole day with him and then we came back a day later and we've been inseparable since like the detail behind how we met and everything it's 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 literally crazy it's literally god like the godliness in this story one day i will do a, a story time about how i met him but the godliness in the story like when i sit back and i think about it i realize how all of it was literally god because nothing was supposed to happen the way it happened first of all he didn't even like me he liked my friend like he liked the other girl from one of the other girls that we traveled with it wasn't even me <laughs> i was not his first option i was not his first choice but the way things happened and how everything fell into place and it's crazy and then like hearing him say his side of the story things that i didn't know of obviously that happened on his side and how everything fell into place it's crazy but that is god you know so anyway i met this guy and at the time already i wasn't you know on social media like that because like i told you guys i stopped social media much in april i would i just distanced myself so by the time it was june even when we went to durban i did post on my stories just a little bit not too much um there's a lot of things i didn't post from durban on my stories a lot of content the vlog didn't make it i even stopped vlogging because i was just like i there was just no time because we were having so much fun um i lost my voice on the first day if you want to understand exactly how much fun we had first night we arrived uh we we all missed our flight we all missed our flight and on the thursday so we all missed our flights and we ended up getting stubborn in the evening like super late and by the time we got to AB, airbnb it was around eight we got we changed our clothes we did a very light beat and we went to the club and i lost my voice we came back in the a.m we slept morning we woke up went to buy groceries and then we got ready we we got cute we went to the club the next day uh we had breakfast and then we did our faces and went to the beach to go take some cute pictures or oh, well we at our airbnb we first did like a swimsuit photo shoot and then we went to the beach excuse me because we wanted to go to the beach we went to the beach and then um, we went to the club throughout all of these days guys i don't have a voice i sound like a man because i naturally have a deep voice man so like when my when my when my voice gets burnt oh my gosh so then we were supposed to leave this the next day I booked the wrong flights. I booked a flight for Monday. One of the things that just just tell you, we were not meant to leave, so we didn't leave Durban that Sunday because I booked the wrong flight. 
um and then him and his friends were there and we booked we went we left the airbnb and went to they literally booked us accommodation um at a hotel in Durban and we went to the club and then we came back and then the next day my friends left and I stayed with this man and the rest is history but Durban was a lot of fun so I came back from Durban and I dropped all of my all of my holes all of my holes I just told you guys about this one specific one because of that big doubt but I ghosted everybody after when I came back from Durban I was like mm -mm. you know because that's just how I am when I'm in a relationship like I don't got time so I dropped everybody, I dropped all of my hoes, even that guy Shane, he called me, he's like, are you back? I'm like, yeah, I'm back. He's like, okay, when can I see you? I'm like, I'll let you know when I have time. Shane, so let him let her know. Little day. Um, I think he texted me, wanting to know, and then I was like, huh, I'll let you know. Work is a bit crazy or something, I can't remember, but yeah, it was just one of those. I just don't have time to play around um, when I'm in a relationship. So with him, uh, we got in a relationship pretty instantly. I didn't know him. We didn't wait to get to know each other, other than the fact that what we knew from each other when we were in Durban. But other than that, he asked me to be his girlfriend because I was just like, you know, I'm not going to assume Rajol, I told him. Like, I'm not going to assume that we're in a relationship. The only way we're going to get into a relationship is if you ask me to be your girlfriend. And then I will say yes or I'll say no. He didn't think I was going to say yes. So he didn't really want to ask me. Um, but he did ask me eventually. And I was like, yeah, I'll be your girlfriend. What do you do, baby? Take me out for dinner. Or I think that little what's up, baby? Take me out for dinner. So, yeah, that's that. So, I am in a relationship, guys. And I get hit. So, don't worry about me. I am good. I am happy. Life is good. I can't complain. Yeah? So, this was now June. Um, like I said, we've been inseparable since. So, I spent a lot of time with him. And when I came back from Durban, my mom was... We, they were doing renovations at home in the kitchen and my work requires me to speak i speak for a living so i couldn't be at that construction site at home because of i speak and people would be able to hear that i speak to clients so i spent a lot of time with my boyfriend um because i couldn't be at home i was with him and then at work and rajola afterwards shop so that was that right so time went by, um, yeah, I was still off of social media, da -di da -di da And then in September, okay, before September, I suspected, right? <laughs> Woo hey. Somewhere along that timeline, eh? I have a pimple here that I just popped. And I shouldn't have popped it. Somewhere along that timeline, I suspected that I'm pregnant. Hmm. Like, jeez. So eventually, I took a pregnancy test. And when I tell you that before it even, before the time was ready, like, as I peed on that stick, it had two lines. As I peed on it. I remember that day as clear that day as clear as day as I was peeing on it it had two lines and I peed on it and we had just had an, a big argument you're a very a big big argument you know that day we had a very big fight shame um, but he we had he, we had bought the pregnancy test prior so I took it and i put it there in the bathroom for the time it required I came back to check it it was very positive and i gave it to him and we're not talking to each other then i left and 
wanted to know where I'm going and I'm mad I get like don't worry about where I'm going so eventually I told him I'm going to the garage because he wouldn't let me go um I told him I'm going to the garage I'll be back and then he let me go and I went to the garage and hey I just needed space and then I went to the garage and I came back and I cooked for him. Even though I was mad at him, I cooked for him because I promised to cook for him. So I cooked for him. Uh, I made him spaghetti and meatballs. And he ate. I went to bed. And then like at night we spoke about everything and we were fine, you know? So now we're pregnant and <laughs> you know what, we gonna have a child. Shop, whatever, kept it to myself. Guys, I was not ready to have a child, okay? I was not ready and I've said this before on my channel when I did my last Q&A and somebody asked me about a child and I told them, I'm not ready and I wasn't ready, guys. Like, I actually took it very hard, the pregnancy thing. So, with me already being off of social media, now there's the pregnancy thing, which threw me off. Yeah? So, I slipped into a little depression because of the pregnancy. Like, if I'm being honest, it was because of the pregnancy. So, I slipped into a depression and I just distanced myself from people, like my friends. I distanced myself from a lot of things. Um, I just became very distant. I was not okay at all, at all, at all, at all, because of this baby that I'm having for about a month, two months to three months. Um, you know, like the reality of the whole thing. I was, to be honest, I actually like went into the depression from the minute I started suspecting because my periods, since I started getting my periods, my periods were like clockwork. I've never missed my period before, and me missing my period <laughs> oh, it was massive baby said he's gonna be here soon and now it's 11 30. okay fine um eventually I, I i i i accepted i came to terms with the fact that i'm having a child you know because termination was not an option for me that thing has never been an option for me like and to each their own if you believe in that that's that's fine it is very much legal in this country that's a you thing um honestly to each their own but for me it was not an option so i knew that i'm i'm, I'm about to have a child so yeah that happened and then i had the accident and um, so, what was I saying? Um, what was I saying, guys? Yeah, oh, accident happened. So, I got in the accident and I was pregnant. Funny enough. Oh, my battery's flashing. When I got into the accident, I was pregnant. And it was very early in my pregnancy. Um, I was still in my first trimester. I was about a month and something, and a couple of weeks. A month and a couple of weeks. I had not yet reached two weeks. I was at a very fragile stage of my pregnancy where I could have lost the baby, and the trauma, the trauma of the accident, because I I was very traumatized in the beginning, and then I I was fine afterwards the pain that i was in and i went to the doctor afterwards um and the doctor also took a test he was like something is not right going um and i went there for pain after the accident and he was like i'm gonna take a pregnancy test and he did and it came out positive he's like you're pregnant um i knew but i acted like i didn't know because obviously i had taken the test so i could have easily lost the baby guys from the accident but i didn't and i was like you know what this baby was clearly given to me by God because, you know, anything could have happened. So, 
yeah that's really like why i've been gone on social media youtube is because first i was dealing with my own things with the internet just being a toxic place and then i found out i'm pregnant which i was not ready for and that just threw me off like i only realized how unready i was when i found out i'm pregnant because i i, I literally slipped into a depression like it was i was it was a dark time it was a dark time for me so i definitely then needed like stayed off even longer and then i thought i'm okay at some point but then i tried to come back but i just couldn't so only now like now i'm really really okay um i'll charge my battery and then i'll like show you my outfit and stuff for the rest of the video but that's really why i've been gone on social media and then i'll do the other questions later that i said i would do because now you guys know that there's a baby because this person is someone who knows me personally so they're asking me about a baby um so but that's why i've been gone to be honest it's the fact that i had my own personal issues with the internet that just threw me off and then baby girl found out she's pregnant i didn't tell anyone until very much later most of my friends found out three months ago which was in december so yeah and i've been pregnant for some time now so by the time you guys see this i won't even be pregnant anymore that's how long i've been pregnant for so obviously i think if you know me really well you could tell because i'm dark my armpits are super super dark my nose is bigger my face is fuller um so i think if you know me really well you're able to tell but i'm gonna finish doing my makeup eat leave for the lunch thing and then i'll talk to you okay guys i'm ready this is my face okay this is my face and then this is my fit and these are my shoes oh yeah there's an umbrella in there 